Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Look. Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. We don't usually get skies like this. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Hmm. Unless the Aurora Borealis so, is supposed over here to be looks like as good a spot as any. Shining over so here. Let's plan it around this area. It's clear enough, I think. Okay, so the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. This is gonna Just go move wrong. The, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Yeah, to be honest, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. Give me a second here. That's it. Okay. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. Yeah. So, should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah. Good good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn. We did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the, the readings just coming in now. There they are. Signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Nothing weird. Oh, uh, hold up. There it One is. <laughs> second. Okay. This is a little weird. What? Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Uh. Jesus. Oh God. Yep. Gonna go wrong. Oh. Wait, what's that? What? Do you see that over Edwards Island? See, we're making it worse. You know, is this, is this right? Riley, we're making it worse. What's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. Turn off. It's, what? Just turn off. What's she saying? Turn off. Oh no. Too late. No. No, 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 no. God, I can't believe this. Oh, the portal. Something's wrong with it. Oh, I was almost there! What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? They're trying to get into the portal. Wait. There, there's someone here. What the Who hell is, is she? She did something! She, whatever she did, fried our intent. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? Hey, where are we? What? 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 Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley, answer. Hey, wait, e Evelyn. We didn't we already do this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. Oh boy. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Opal Beach. It's about 20 miles out. But I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you- Did I- did we already talk about the Crab Shack? Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. No. <laughs> yeah, that's- I think it's under health code probation or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, Riley, nice. I'm not really understanding what you're saying. The kiosk for Edwards Island is- God, everything is- This is real, right? Uh, I think so. I don't really know what we're talking about, but, uh- Oh. You're going to be uh, placing transmitters? Oops. That's uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up. <gasps> what the... Uh, damn it. This isn't the right time yet. Hey, wait, kid. You, you Didn't I see you before? Away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Just, who are you? What are you doing? Just leave it alone. Don't, don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back! Hey, what is going on? Come in, what are Riley. they if you're there, doing? Pick up, please. Riley? And... Evelyn, there was, there was some kid breaking into the general store. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. 
I think we might be stuck in a, a loop or something. We've done this before. I... Riley? Uh, are you still there? You're getting better. Riley? Uh -huh. Evelyn? Can you, can you... You can't hear me or... Come on, uh, boys. <laughs> Come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Come with a hope. Come with a call. Come with goodwill. Or not at all. Yeah, that's so creepy. Who... Who is this? the music from the previous game. Okay, that's just creepy. I don't like it. Not very many stations on this radio. But our antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it. Re rebuild it, or... Somehow no. we will ruin my Look, it's her again! She keeps trying to... Okay, are these people... legitimately helping these ghosts? What the hell just happened? Or are they possessed themselves? Like, at least a little bit possessed. They're probably actually helping the ghosts, weirdos. Probably think that they're, like, some god or something. wasn't here before, right? Right. <laughs> oh. What am I doing? Okay, I see. <laughs> cool. Jacob? Jacob, you around? Oh. I guess not. Maybe he's back at his truck? I gotta find him. Notebook? This type. is going to be okay. The forest nope. is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. What? So this means maybe we can actually stop them, like for good this time? Because that's kind of how it sounded. Stop the looping? 10 p.m. Okay. 
I don't like this. Hell, can't say I like this. Not one bit. No. Oh, Jesus. Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. You scared me. I gotta get my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... Oh. I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, so I he was, remembers? We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a... Oh, wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that... Yeah, that... That that happens. That oh man. Are you okay? You seem alive, which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I am many, many miles from feeling okay. Yeah, me too. W well, wait, are are we talking physically or mentally? Ah! Yeah. Ah! Hey guys, are you there? Oh, it's it's Evelyn. Jesus. Maybe she has, like, any idea of what the hell is going on? Yeah, here's, uh, here's hoping. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? <clears throat> a bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit. But we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? I'm not gonna abandon it. Go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing while we still have time. Time to do what? Before it's they rip a hole in the universe. Before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this. It's very important you go back there and check it Do out. Do it. Don't worry, Evelyn. We're up for it. <laughs> We're here, aren't we? Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. But here. The walkie I had near the transmitter died, oh. so I assume yours did too. This should work. I have to say, Jacob, I don't have a good feeling about this. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. Uh, yeah. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. Which is so exactly why we have to I do like something. Sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters, right? Well, maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but I know we can figure it out. I mean, you, I don't know, but I know I can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I believe you. That sounded mean. Not how I meant that. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait. Violet, Listen. you there? That's... Their transmitter knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We, we need to repair it. Mm. I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking. I don't want them to know we can hear. Charlie, come in. Violet, where are you? Let's just listen in for a second. Guys, I I think I'm lost. I'm at somewhere by the cliffs. I think she's by the cave system. Violet, what happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointilia. That's not far from here. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Hearth and Cinder, catch squirrels if you can. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound young. Oh. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Evelyn kind of sounds like Alex. I wonder if it's the same voice actor, if they just sound similar. Do you really 
want to drop trig, just go ahead and drop it. We invented calculators way back when Shakespeare was around. We don't need to know our tables. Okay, everyone. Welcome to the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. With some arbitrarily chosen musical tracks approved by Principal Haddish, our advice line is now open, so bring on those questions. I'll happily steer you through these confusing times we call our lives. Go to Channel 8 on your radios or walkie-talkies and chat with me, please. That's Channel 8. Okay, let's hear local dumbasses with Mouse in the House. Am I going to get copyright strike for this? Okay. 91.4 the potluck. This is Let's Eat, damn it. It's <laughs> raining outside, which is perfect cooking weather, so let's get back to our recipe for that Cuban classic, arroz con pollo. About to get to the tricky parts of the recipe. Courage, children. Courage. Sados requires a certain type of rice that can be harder to find than your standard grain. It's called parboiled rice. It's about So there's some like actually normal stations this time. That's not normal. Welcome to this evening's theater of the air dramatic reading. These half hour performances of one act plays are sponsored by Headley Textiles. When you need fabric, Good. make sure. Okay. <laughs> Maybe sometime I'll just sit and actually listen through the whole thing, but I don't know how long those go for, so... Oh, it's unlocked. Still. Let's, let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Is there a way to save the kids, though? Or to, like, go to them? Maybe some other... Maybe after I do this? Come on! I don't know. Yep, right behind you. Let's go. I hope I'm not unintentionally, like, abandoning the kids, though. God, it's still open. Crap, okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? A giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, yeah. but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She... no one really believed her, but she knew. 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Jacob, who are you talking about? Wait, yeah, who? Riley, do you do you hear that? There's. Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? The music or something else? It sounds else? like. It, it sounds like. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god. You're getting possessed. Jacob? Jacob, can you can you hear me? This is a nightmare. I, oh god. Oh my. What is that noise?
phone number. Me too. And if someday you lose you, your way, you know just what to do. Uh, right. Yeah. What does that mean? I Marco. Uh <laughs> <laughs> creepy. <laughs> hey, you hear what I said? Miss? The bar's closing. You gotta go home. Hey! Anyone know where, her? Where anyone where, friends where am with I? this woman? Anyone? How no? I, how I get here? Just... How'd you get here? How are you getting home? That's the that's what we're Hey, wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. It's creepy. more like physically there this time normally they're there for like a second but they're like sticking around a lot longer now where are we at oh jacob i mean i are, are we in th this is garland garland god this is crazy the time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But Thank first, you. let's get the hell out of here. I had to blow out that candle. <laughs> There's a candle back behind there, and I thought it was a light smelling one. No, it's not. Now I have a headache. <laughs> oh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. <clears throat> get rope. From where? Evelyn, you there? Over. 11 oh, p.m. already? I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I... I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. Okay. It's not very far. You live in a in a cabin, like a log cabin. I didn't know you lived well, here. I say cottage, but yeah, it's 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 been in my family for a while. <laughs> we were one of the few allowed to build on the land. It's technically part of the park. Anyways, I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young, and I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but Maggie she got Adler? groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed or would believe. When we were Maggie kids, we Adler? were kind of friends. And or Annie? I, I have a lot of her journals, still. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. I know it can. What did she do? What was she? She worked at Fort Milner on Edwards Island when the base was still operational. But I can get into it if you want, after we find out if her work will even help us. Yeah, the cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's going to wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents it's had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Oh. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that, uh, that sucks. Yeah, it would've been nice for them to have met each other a little younger. But, I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means Ooh. that I have to work. But it's not, like, a huge deal, basically. This is cool. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. Huh? I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. <laughs> just look at my shoes. I like it. It's like if a tree fort could grow up. Hey, thanks. I try to keep it ship shape. 
All the stuff that we need is inside. So just take a minute. I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Problem? Kind of, yes. The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're, oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. Uh -huh. I was moving things around this morning, and I forgot to put them back in my pants. Hey, it happens. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Maybe it's not his house? There's an option to accuse, it of, accuse him of not owning it. Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Sorry. Oh, well, we could go back. No. Okay. Uh. Doggy door. <laughs> What's the third thing? No. Swell. Almost there. Rats. Damn it. <laughs> I tried. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. Maybe the door up here is unlocked. This will be really awkward if it's not actually his house. Why am I not surprised? Why would he leave his window open like that? All those bugs. Yeah. Take the ladder. This should reach the window. Yeah, look at us. Smart ass boss. Those ladders can be heavy. I wonder if that's a heavy ladder, too. Boom. <sighs> We're not going to tell him? <laughs> it's okay. I'll it's surprise him. Peter Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. This looks like a grandma room. Oh. <laughs> Odd hobby, Jacob. It's not his, oh, is it? His brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. Oh, maybe it is. Phone ringing? here obviously hello better three hours too soon than a minute too late the waiting be hell i am to wait better three hours too soon than a minute too late okay, okay. weird it's really creepy if those are the ghosts because they sound way more clear last time they had they were all static and fuzzy and now they're just like super clear i don't like it Dude, learn to boil rice. Come on. Oh, wait, can I unlock this? 